The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good to us. We're going to take a look here at the gold market. As you remember, last Friday, we were making our big ABCD down here at 1825. The low was 1824. You notice we've had a really strong rally, folks. If you take 1824, okay, now the harmonic number in gold is 32. Two times 32 is 64. If you add that, to that, that takes you to, guess what, folks? You're not going to believe this. 1890, and you'll see what the high was today. We'll just look at this on a four-hour chart. You'll be able to see the smaller little pattern that we've been following right here. There it is right there. There is our two harmonic numbers. This is where, uh-oh, someone's calling in. So let me double-check here to go into the room here to see what's going on. Oh, well, I don't know what to do now. Okay. I, I hope this is <laughs> – I think this is where we are now. Uh, I hope we're seeing this four-hour gold chart now, folks. That's what I was looking at. This is where you would want to be looking to uh, take your profits would be up into that area here. There was your number right up there at uh, 90 was the high, 90.90. Uh, .90. And so that was one of the things that you want to keep in mind. I'm unfortunately not able to send videos out yet, hopefully by tomorrow. I will be able to do that, given that my voice will hold up. So far, um, I'm not in any pain. I mean, this thing, you know, the bad part of it, this disease is that energy, my God, it just, it destroys your energy level. Holy cow. I mean, I just, usually I work, you know, a long time and I can't do that. I mean, it just, uh, just literally uh, wears you out. Anyway, so that's what we're watching. But let's go back here and start with what really happened here, with the real, where the big daddy rabbit was singing here. Uh, on Sunday night. Let's get up here and we'll get this daily chart up here for the uh, crude oil because that's where the whole action started here on Sunday night. And uh, I want to get this up here. Remember, we heard about this early in the morning on Sunday. And by the time we got this, you'll see this was the opening here. We closed at 82.40. We opened $4 higher, actually $5 higher at uh, 87.20 which was a little above the 50% level and immediately went below that. And as you can see here, we have been making lower highs all the way through here these last few days. Now, today's the first day that we've actually come down and hit some major support here. You know, well, what we'll do is we'll just go to the 60 minutes so we can see it a little more clear. You see, there was your 382 Sunday night right there. There's where it was right here. We went a little above it right here by about uh, oh, 40 pips. And then, boy, down she came. And then we've had these lower tops in here today. But what we've done so far today is from the low up to the high, we've come right down to the 61% retracement here. And for the last four hours, we've been staying above the 83.53 that tells us we've reached some type of some pretty good support down into this area. So uh, let's remind ourselves. The main thing here is that when we were coming in here on Sunday night, look where we were here, folks. Uh, this is where we were on Friday. We stopped right at the 78% level at 81.35. The low was uh, 81.50. 15 pips was all it was off at $150. Then we had the rally and now the move back. What you want to be watching for, and believe me, this news is the news that you're going to be hearing and seeing and all that stuff, that's why I don't listen to it, is usually uh, heavily jaded. So, But the one thing it's not jaded are the bar charts, folks. They're straight. They're right in front of you. You can believe them or not, but it's a sum total of all the buyers and sellers. So my assumption is that we could easily make an A, B, C, D pattern up into this area here sometime in the next uh, oh five or six trading days maybe three days i don't know but we should have some fairly strong resistance up here at uh, 90 89 81 which is the 61 uh, percent retracement now remember this was all done without the use of any fundamentals or anything but let's take a look here 
at this uh, chart here that we're looking at. Remember, we were looking for a bottom coming in here in the Treasury bonds. Uh, you know, we, we got down, we hit a handle of 108.28, believe it or not, folks, here on uh, the uh, the 6th of, uh, which was Friday. And you can see there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Wednesday, there's our rally right here. If you remember, one of the things that we said to look for is to watch the market repeating itself. So if you went back to look at the last time we had a rally, this one was seven days. And if you just marked it and moved it over like that, you'd see we're right up to that level. Well, even more important than that is that we take this and we go down to the, uh, let's just go to a four-hour chart, and you'll be able to see where we are today, folks. There's your rally right here. Look at this. There's the exact 382 off of the high from this level right here. It's down. You know, 113.27 was the high. Okay, and here we are, 113.01. And now you'll notice we had a nice move here. Do you remember this little ABCD pattern we had here after the Fed time that time? That was a beautiful, we'll just draw that little ABCD in there so you'll be able to see the old ABCD coming in. And there it was, we'll get it down there right there where it should be. It's not drawn correctly because of the sensitivity of the darn, you know, what I can do is I can do it the creative way is going up from this high down to this low and then draw it up there and there it was right there just a little above the 618 this one happened to be the 382 now if we get above here that's going to be a game changer because now we've been rallying here now for three strong days now this rally here lasted seven days this one is three days so this is the key point watch it getting above 113 because if it does very important now the second thing is is you want to watch the pullback. Now we've got, you can see the ABCD we have in here. So the first thing you want to do, don't listen to the news, just look at the chart and wait and see if it's really strong. It's not going to get much more than a point and a half. Hold on. I think there's more problems in River City. Let's get up here and see. Uh, All right, I got a problem. Let me see what's what I'm doing wrong here. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like a I'm like a, a Glockenspiel monkey. I got to be retrained every time I do these things here. Okay, <clears throat> this will be where we want to be. And I'm gonna get up here. Maybe I'm live right now. Hopefully, I'll be live. If not, let me know, Jake. But uh, I think it's live, but I can't tell. I really can't. I don't know. Oh God, this, this is a dingy, dingy, dingy. <clears throat> That's what I did. I hit she. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. My throat's getting wrong. I'm going to try to get this one more time. And then if not, I think it's time to take my toys and run off into the mountains and do something else for a living. Because I ain't, good. I ain't meant to do this technical stuff. <clears throat> Let me see if this will work. I don't know. I tried everything else. Okay, hold on. Let me get up here. All right, there's where we are right now. Okay, we backed off right here to the 382. As you can see, once we get above that, we could have more of a rally, but the bonds are in trouble. We're going to take a little break. 877-927-6648. <clears throat> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I just posted the chart of silver showing you the same thing. We had a 382 retracement here Sunday night, and then, of course, another move up. Uh, we're getting ready for correction here in silver, it looks like. Let's take a quick look here at the stock market because this was something that was really important to be looked at. Uh, if you'll remember, when we were coming in here Sunday, let's get this up here because this was not a mystery to anyone. Let's get up here. Uh, in fact, we had our good friend Stan Harley tell us about the 6th of October. We also know that October is a month for some of the major lows. Look at, the, look at this uh, perfect uh, uh, pattern here, folks, at the 50% level. This is where we were. There's where it's Fridays. Okay, there's Monday, Tuesday. You see the big rally we've had so far. Uh, went up to the 50% level. And now we'll probably be backing off. But th this is really an important spot here, folks. What we do from here is going to determine what we're going to do for the rest of the year. Now, I know everybody thinks it's going to go straight up, and yep, it certainly might. That is certainly the possibility of doing that. But we need to watch it very, very closely uh, in here. Remember, this is the key level to watch here is this uh, 43, uh, 48 level. That's the level that we closed on Friday. If we start going below that, now that's 30 handles away. If we start going below that, that's telling us that we're probably, this is some type of a high up into this area. Now, what I did do is I measured it from the high that we had back here on the 27th, uh, 28th of July. And you'll see we went up to the 382, but we went through it by quite a bit. We went to 44. Uh, 20, 4420. Now we're trading below the 382. That could be a very important thing to pay attention to here because we're in the midst of a five day rally. So if you're really bullish, all you have to do is put your little small time. Well, let's don't do it that way. Let's do it with a 30 minute chart so we can see it without any hassles in here. So what you want to be watching for, here's your, here's your first really good ABCD since this whole thing started. Let's just see where that measures to for kicks and giggles. We're going to go from our low that we had here on Friday. And there, of course, that was a big run up. Here was a sell-off Sunday night. Look at this. This thing could only be down 30 handles with war going on in the Middle East. Give me a break. That was telling you that there's something not going right. So there's your 382 retracement. So here's the number to really pay attention to if you're watching these things for trend is 4350. I just said this old 4345. That's where we were here. So we start getting below this, 
then that's telling us that we're looking at something a little more sinister. But right now, we've got this ABCD forming right here. I think if we go to a 15-minute, you'll be able to see that I think we're reaching it. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of everything, and then we'll be able to see it without any trouble at all. Okay, here's what we're going to be doing, looking at it right now. <clears throat> And there's our first ABCD. We got two of them in here that we need to calculate. There's your first one right here. There's your first ABCD right there. And then we got the second one coming in because you got lower highs. And we should be reaching a bottom right about now if it's going to be any good at all today. So watch this level where we are right now because that means we should get a little bit of a bounce in here if it's any good. And if it's not, it's going to head lower. But the key to level look at now. Uh, what we just looked at is that 43, we get below 43.50, that's where the real problem is going to, uh, you know, happen. So one thing that we want to watch here is this, this is an hourly chart, and this is going back here to the sixth again also, and you'll see that we're coming down to a, this is not a really good low because of the fact that it's just hardly any of a sell-off, but that 43.50 is the key, key level to watch, folks. If we get below this, uh, that means that there's there's serious trouble. Uh, not serious trouble, but there's trouble. I mean, look, the and look. First of all, when you come in Sunday night and the world's not falling apart, and we had, I sent him a video out Sunday night. The last one I was able to send out was that look, this thing does not look like the end of the world. Two reasons: one, the crude oil can only open five dollars a barrel higher. Are you kidding me? Back when they had drones going over Saudi Arabia, it opened nine dollars higher, and that's when it was sixty-nine dollars. You know, so that was really no movement at all. Now we've backed off a little bit, and everybody's bullish as heck at 95, thinking it's going to go to 120, and now it's 85, and nobody even wants to buy it. So that's uh, that's the way charts work. So let's keep our keep our powder dry and wait and see. All right, the next one we need to talk about here is the euro. Oh, oh we've got to talk about natural gas. This was a really, uh, really big pit pattern here today in the natural gas. You'll notice here there was the large ABCD pattern up here measured to uh, 342. We came all the way down to uh, 323, folks, uh, on this move right here. Now, this has been a pretty good correction, as you can see from this level, but this has been a real bullish move. So the first thing you want to be watching for is to watch for your first 382 retracement off of your number. Oh, look at that. Can you believe that? Look at that, Johnny. Johnny's got his little placard up. It says 382. My goodness, maybe sometimes some of these things work. So anyway, that's what we're taking a gander at here in the natural gas. So this is a very interesting one. We're going to be watching closely here over the next uh, few days. Hopefully, I'll get these videos up and running uh, very, very soon, and we'll be able to see some of these. Now, let's get, get to the currencies. First of all, what I want to do is move over here and get to the dollar index because in the newsletter we we focused on that because the dollar index had made a uh, a perfect where is a b c d e d e there it is right here and I think we'll be able to get this up and you'll be able to see it there was that 50% retracement that we hit right up here you see there's where we were at that 10670 if you do this on the weekly which I should have done right away You'll see there's where we were. Now we backed off just a little bit. That's all we've done. And now we're going to find out what's going to happen here over the next few days. Now, what we need to do is because we follow the euro very, very closely, we want to get the euro up here. Um, jumping around here a bit because we're going to have Mike Moore on here pretty soon to give us some good information here about the uh, crude oil and stuff and all the other things that he covers. There's our, there's our rally here. Look at this, folks. We stopped exactly at the 61% retracement of the high that we made right back in here. Maybe there was even a 382 here from this level right here. Let's just double check that just to see how close it came to. I haven't looked at these charts, folks, unfortunately. I have not been interested because I'm trying to keep my energy level up. And, uh, oh, my goodness, shut the front door and raise the rent. There was your 382 today uh, in the euro. So we just started getting above that then you're going to be looking at something pretty good. That happens to be an ABCD pattern, too, folks. We'll draw that in. There's your AB leg right here. There's your Friday's action. Yeah, you went quite a bit above it. Yeah, as you did. Make, oh, we had another ABCD. That's why. Hello, operator. Let's get that one in, too. ABCD. 
and that one didn't quite get there so this is the key right here we hit right at that the old 382 right there now we backed off a little bit so when we start getting above here the whole game will change now the british pound most of you know i have many friends and stuff over in the uk and that's been a really big one to look at i don't know if i'm going to have time to pull that up right now but uh, we'll get this up here ah, i do have time because it hit so many things right on the money let's get that weekly up because that's where the key was uh, in this one you can see we went right down to the 786 and the 382 were set right there there was your 786 right here there's your 3-2. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have Mike Moore of uh, More Analytics to be joining us in just a moment. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back. Uh, Mike's been a little tied up this morning, so we're going to try to get him a little bit later. Uh, this is December wheat, folks. I, I want you to remember to look back here. Back on the 27th of uh, July, we had Peter Lides uh, on our I guess that day. I happen to remember that day because it happens to be the birthday of Ralph Elliott, also my birthday. Anyway, uh, that day, Peter said that he had uh, price objectives below $5 a bushel in wheat. Now, remember, wheat was 13.50 18 months ago. 
Now it's about uh, one and a half, or two and a half times less than that right now, down 555, and it has no friends at all. You'll notice this is what we're looking at here in the December week. I, frankly, I'm looking for a place to go long the week. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up a 60-minute chart so we can see it a little clearer because there's where we are right now. You see, we're moving down. You can see the small ABC. I'm going to get rid of all these uh, passive rental things in here. We don't need to, to be looking at that. And uh, we'll just do them one at a time so we can see the, the ABCD patterns that are here and the ratios. But all I want to do now is to start from scratch here because we're down to really close to what I think is going to be very strong support. And there's also the one other possibility. You'll see the 78% level comes in here about another eight or eight or ten cents lower right here at 48 however however we've got to pay attention to this big daddy rabbit over here which is covers the last three or four weeks you see this one right here we have to count that and the reason for that folks is because that could have what we call a christmas day greeting for us because if we do get something like this oh shucks hold on i did something wrong here Ah, uh, dear, what did I, oh, man, I really did something wrong now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hold on just a second, folks. Uh, wow, I really messed up. So bear with me here, folks. I'm going to try to get this weed up here so we can see it again. And uh, I hit a wrong button, and <laughs> that's okay. All right, let's get this up here. We're going to do an hourly chart because here's what we have to, to to least consider. There is a possibility because the last time we rallied, we just rallied up here to this 61% uh, retracement. That means that we could be looking at another one more washout in the in the uh, the wheat taking us down. To almost five dollars a bushel, five twenty-three. That's thirty cents from where it could go. Now, if you don't think it can get there, look what it did here during the report, folks. It went from five eighty-eight. That happened to be a three eighty-two retracement right there. That was a three eighty-two off of that high. Then you came down. And look at this. You dropped all this way. Nobody wanted it. And then what did it do? It rallied from five forty. Probably 44 cents up to this level right here. And that means there's a possibility if this doesn't hold right here, and I think it's going to, and there again is my opinion, and my opinion has to be accompanied with you know what, folks. Johnny's holding up his little placard, and it says S-T-O-P, a stop. So if you're going to buy it at 549, you got to put a stop at around 542. You got to risk about seven cents to become a farmer because if you're right, it's got some pretty good potential to it. And if you're wrong, you don't want to stand in front of that puppy. So be really careful in here. See, we've had a big move down here. We've gone from 84. We dropped 30 cents in just three trading days, folks, since Friday. You see that? This is just Wednesday. And look at this. We've come down that that quickly. So that's one of the ones that I'm watching closely. Hopefully the videos will be out. I can't promise anything today, but hopefully by tomorrow or Friday at the latest, uh, what happened was Snagit has come out with a new program, and the way I download these, it's now downloading properly. I can send them out somewhat, but they don't go to everybody, and I can't copy and send them by the Dropbox, and that's what the problem is. I'm hopefully to get that fixed uh, today. So let's switch over to one other one that is really on the watch list, and it's got a great deal of potential. But again, potential means that it's got a hold, and this is the soybean oil. This is December soybean oil, folks. Here's where we are right now today. It's trading, let me double check, because uh, this is the uh, 11th. Yep, it sure is. We're trading at 52.87. The number is 52.43. You can see here, this is where we are right here. The low has been 52.46. Now, you can see the ABCD pattern. Remember this 382 that we like so much that lasted the total of about... Uh, 30 seconds well that's where we had our stop right here we were out of it and as you can see the market's been coming down in really nice abcd format i mean it's been just been dropping very normally look there's your first abcd comes right down here you've got another one right here you see your high from that high to that low there's your high right here you measure that there's your abcd and that's going to take you down to uh, this level right here 
43.67. So it's gone below, but look, it hit the exact 61% retracement. And the low is held up relatively well. If we look at this on a, uh, let's just look at it on a 13-minute chart, you'll see that it's actually holding up okay because it hasn't taken that low out. Had a nice move down, stopped right at the 78% level, then went up. Now it's backing and filling in here, and we're going to find out whether it holds this level or not. So that's what you're doing is when you're watching this is to see where you are. Now look at this one here, folks. I know this is hard to believe, but this was Tuesday's action late in the afternoon. You make this giant, look at this, giant ABCD pattern right here. Look at this. There's an ABCD pattern right here. Okay, and you go a little below it by a little bit, and then you rally from 52.34. You rally $700 straight up, and then of course you start moving down. You backed off to the 78% level today. Just get it up here so you can see it right there where you were, right to the 78. What'd you do? You rallied from 52.40. You rallied $600. So we're trying to make a bottom in the soybean oil market right now in the December soybean oil. Now that is affected a little bit because of the crude oil, folks. Crude oil is part of the fact because of its the green nature of the, the soybean. Uh, they, they make um, green energies from what uh, Rich Anderson tells me, uh, propane or something like, not propane, but it's, it's some renewable energy that I am not familiar with. I'm familiar with margarine and uh, 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 paint and all that other stuff that soybean oil is uh, used for. But that's what we're watching here in that uh, soybean oil right now. So I think we have a break coming up here. I forgot to put the time clock up. It's been so long since I've had a, a live show that I've got to get the thing up. So I'll be have a minute to go here. And I wanted to cover one other one, and that is the corn. And corn basically still doesn't have any friends at all, folks. We'll get the December corn up here so you can see it's actually holding up relatively well, but uh, you can see we've really gone nowhere here in corn. It's just laid laid very, very flat here. We just completed an ABCD here uh, on Friday. There was your ABCD leg right there. Get that drawn in so you can see it went right up to it, uh, almost to $5. It got to four ninety nine, and now we're trading 11 cents uh, under that. So we are starting to make a possible uh, 135 here, though, in the corn. There is a possible 135 pattern coming in. Let's just double check the ratios and we'll see where we are. We'll be right back, folks. 877 927 6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we got Mike Moore on the line out of Tennessee, Nashville. <laughs> Is it Nashville? Larry, how are you? Thank you for, uh, sorry I'm a little late here, had a little bit of an emergency there. but No, uh, it's not a problem. I have those all the time. Mike, can you make heads or tails out of what's going on in this oil market? Everybody thinks it's going to go back to 80 now instead of going to 110. What do you think? All right, let's take a look here. We'll jump straight into crude oil, WTI. All right. Just as a little backup here. Um, the break black, the break back below 94.15 uh, warned a decent pressure. We came off $12.65 from the 94.15 level that we were talking about last time on the show. That was the break below this level here. Then we broke below another bearish formation here, came off, and then I put bearishness on hold because we left this maintained gap higher the other day. Um, okay. Since then, we've kind of rolled over a bit to test the bottom of the gap. Right in here at uh, 83.28 with an 83.11 low. So somewhat bearish right here. If we get back above this line above here, though, that's going to – that should bring in additional strength. That line comes in at 85.44. 85.44 minus two ticks per hour. Well, let me – actually, I'm sorry. Let me give you this right now. I'm thinking about post-market right now. As of 1 o'clock – Going into 2 o'clock, that line's going to come in at 85.53. So a decent break above there will warrant a decent strength. And uh, back above this formation should bring in even more strength. That's going to come in at 87.48 minus 0.3 of a tick per hour. But if we keep settling back down below the bottom, if we settle back down in here in the 82.50s or something like that, that would be bearish. And then that would take these bearish calls from up here off of hold, off hold. And we'll possibly head down to test some of these lower exhaustion levels at 79.57, 70, 75.92 if it takes this, this upper one out. You have any questions on that? Or you want me to take a look at the unleaded gas or the heating oil? Listeners in Salt Lake City. And the question is, how can you trust anything that's in the news? He was very surprised that the market didn't open ten, fifteen dollars higher on Sunday night. And of course, my my comment was, I don't know anything about fundamentals, which was the absolute truth. But I mean, how how do you explain that to someone? Do you think the market would be extremely strong, given the fact that there was war in the Middle East and cut off of oil supplies with the Straits of Hormuz? None of that happened. Maybe that's why it sold off. It. How do you handle that when you when you see all this news and the market doesn't respond to it, Mike? Right. Well, like I've said before, I'm not I don't really pay that much attention to the fundamentals as far as supply and demand yeah. is concerned. As far as a war is concerned, it's a different story. But this is really a skirmish between Israel and Palestine. If this breaks into an all out war with Iran and that that's going to be a whole different story. If new sanctions start coming on against those supplies, that's going to be a different story. But right now, it really hasn't 
significantly exactly. interrupted oil supply uh, as it stands. So okay. I expected a bit of a jump just because of who know the who knows factor of uh, <laughs> breaking out on Sunday night. But it really didn't yeah. gain any traction to the upside yet because uh, this hasn't really spilt over into oil supply yet necessarily. So okay. um, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the gasoline and also the, uh, the especially gasoline because gasoline has been collapsing and yet we haven't seen any reduction in prices. In fact, we had a five cent increase uh, yesterday in gas prices here with you know. And I don't understand that, but what do you, you think is happening with the gasoline? By the way, real quick before I answer that question, um, before, as I told your audiences, the unleaded gasoline and the heating oil lead the direction of crude oil 85 to 90 percent of the time usually because those are the products that derive – that drive the demand for the crude oil. In a situation like this – the crude oil popped the hardest to the upside instead of the products because it was the fear of the supply of the actual crude oil that was driving the pop as opposed to a, an increase in demand for those products. So this is that 10% time where wars can sort of change that picture uh, with the cracks. Okay. But Good going information. to the cracks, which again are the – the cracks are the spread between the – crude oil and the products. Um, they've just sort of been chopping around here the past couple of days. And now the heating oil is strong relative to the crude. We'd broken out of a formation right here just yesterday. And okay. the unleaded gasoline is also broken above a formation, meaning that both the heating oil and the gasoline are strong relative to the crude or the crude weak relative to those products. And from the RBOB to heat spread, um, currently right now, it says that the RBOB is weak relative to the heat. This past week or so, it's been a different story. It's been running up, and we do have a major formation above here. If we were to break above that, that would have significant implications to the upside, meaning that the RBOB or unleaded gasoline would become strong relative to the heat at that point, or heat weak relative to the RBOB. Okay. You want me to go into the outrights? Uh, yes, please. Yes, I'd like to see those out right. Yeah, so the sure. unleaded gasoline here, just as a bit of a backup, we held exhaustion at 269.24 with a 270.21 high. We rolled over 53.12 cents um, in there. You can read about some of the other ones in here. I had just recently gotten bullish on the Friday close. Uh, in that podcast, I had said that this warned of short covering before slash if resuming lower trade. And then with the maintained gap, I, I maintained the bullishness. And then this morning right here, I just said, right, I don't know if you can read this sentence here. I said that that said the break above 220, 227.88 and back below may bring in pressure into the AM. That was the break above right here, 227.88. I warned of pressure going into the day. And... Um, that's what we saw right here. And sorry, yeah. No, that's okay. That's your assistant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hangs out in the office with me sometimes. So uh, I guess he was speaking his mind. Uh, but that's where we're seeing some of this pressure right here. This is actually bearish going into tomorrow, taking out these levels. Um, I said if we trade, settle below 222.27 to 222.00 even, which is this level right in here. You're broken below it. If we settle below this, I think we'll probably press down to take out these lows and search for some lower exhaustion levels in here. Okay. Um, now, that being said, once we, if, when we do dig that, that low out, I think that, that that will suggest that we'll probably be in the final stretch of this move down and prone to exhaustion levels down here at 214.18 and lower at 210.42, et cetera. If we hold one of those, we might have a bullish correction against this move down or it could be a bull trend. We'll have to see. But so okay. just be very cautious of your. You know, in the past shows, we were bearish from holding exhaustion here, breaking below yes, here. Yes, I remember. Yes. So I'd be protecting those yep. shorts down here and looking to lift those. Yeah, you you were telling us about the fact that you know the heating oil and the gasoline were lagging, so that was important. Can you stay with us for one more segment, Mike? Yes, sir. Yep, we want to go. We want to go through the S and P if you could and the gold. Okay. 
We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore, more analytics. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mike Moore, more analytics. He's going to be talking to us about the S&P and then the gold. So fire away, my friend. Okay. The S&B here, we've been bullish for the past number of days. The trade above 4278.50 has brought in 140.5 of the strength we're looking for above. The trade above 4345.50 projects this upward 48 minimum, 120 plus maximum. Uh, and we've seen 73.5 of that so far. So that was a break above this line right here. If you can see that on my analysis, this started the bullishness, this break here also projects is higher. That being said, though, I said that we held exhaustion right here on the highs at uh, 44.16.50 to 44.22.50 with the 44.19 even high, and we rolled over a little bit. So it's hard to say whether or not this is uh, a more of a permanent hold, and we're going to come down and collapse these, and then head lower, or whether this is a temporary rejection off of here, and then we're, we're headed up to test higher levels. If we take this level out, we're probably going to head up to test the uh, 4454 area to 44.59 and a quarter. If we fail back over and we take this line out below, then the market should uh, 
we should start seeing pressure come in. That lower line right there is going to come in at um, 40, 43, 41, 37 minus 16 per hour as of 130 going to 230. Any questions on that? Do you want me to jump to gold? No, no, that's great. Let's do the gold because we've only got 45 seconds left. So if we could do the gold, okay. that'd be great. Gold, bullish, uh, just real quick. Been bullish since uh, from three days ago. We left a, a moderate bullish reversal below that warns a higher trade for days. And we've been seeing that the past couple of days. And then... Um, Oh, there's our, there's our thing. Well, Mike, we're going to have you on again next week, so stay tuned, pal, okay? Thank you again. I'm sorry for the tardiness no, today, it, sir. I understand, my friend. Thank you very much. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. See you tomorrow. May God bless. <laughs>